Hello YouTube, Farmer Son Prepping here. Hope y'all are doing well today. It's Friday. It's kind of been a rainy, crappy day here in Alabama. Uh, I actually uh, run across some items in my preps today and it gave me an idea for this video. So if you're 40 or above, you may want to check this out. If you're below 40, if you're in your 30s or below, you're probably not going to be interested in this for a while anyway. So what I'm talking about is medical supplies. Crutches. Canes. This is the only two I have. I mean, I've got a pair of crutches. And I've got this folding cane right here. Uh, these were used when I broke my leg. That's why I, that's why I had these. That's, that's why I have them in my preps. But it got me to thinking. Uh, these things could be useful. You know. Uh, and I'm not saying go out and buy these things now. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is keep an eye out. A lot of times after someone heals up, especially if it's a younger person, they'll give medical equipment like that away sometimes for, you know, a dollar, five bucks, whatever, for a pair of crutches, or they'll just give it away for free. So something to be thinking about, the big high seat potty chairs, uh, canes, walkers, wheelchairs, Stuff like that could be helpful in SHTF, and it could be really helpful if you're the one that needs it. Uh, I know right now my dad has a walker and a wheelchair, so between me and him, we got a good bit of medical equipment. You know, I got the crutches and the cane. He's got canes of his own as well. Uh, so I wanted to bring that to you, just a little short video today, something to think about. Uh... Oh, I need to update uh, y'all. I had an issue with my uh, debit card and my order from Amazon got canceled, so I was going to let you know about that. We did, after we got it all straightened out. You know, these they claim to be helping you and trying to prevent fraud, and I get all that, but, you know, they, it gets to a point where, would you please, please not mess with my stuff? Whatever. So anyway, after I got done with that, uh, after I got the banking issues fixed, uh, I got to thinking maybe I should buy some more portable type stuff for the trip coming up. So I went to Nutrient Survival and got some of the sample packs, the uh, breakfast sampler and the, the dinner sampler or whatever. I got some of those. So I got some of those coming in. My optics also do to be here any day now for my rifle. Uh, probably won't show that to y'all. But uh, just let you know it's on the way. It's supposed to be coming here from uh, from Memphis. So it's pretty close already anyway. Uh, so I had that. Wanted to bring that to you older, uh, to your older preppers. Something to think about. Uh, if you can catch that stuff for free, uh, that would be a good thing to do. Now, change the subject. I'm going to do all this in one video. I was going to do this in two different videos but i'm going to do it all in one video so this will be a two-parter uh part two meeting fe fellow like-minded people okay i yes i'm on facebook uh i've been helping people wake up and uh teach them how to prep the you know the priority of things to get so i've talked about this many times on the live streams or on my channel before I got to noticing that my community did not have a barter and exchange uh, group. So I have created one. And out of that, I'll be meeting some people. I've already got something up for barter. Uh, so we'll see how that works. I'll update y'all if it starts really going. Now I've already got, uh, our community already has a, just a regular Hey, this is my dog. He's lost. You know, that kind of group. I created that group 10 years ago. Okay. So I'm the group creator around this joint. So like whatever, I, I wouldn't really go city. I'd go local as you can. 
like if it's River Rock Community or uh, Sharp Chapel, to use pinball pre pre preppers as an example, Sharp Chapel Community, whatever. Start a uh, a barter and exchange group for your local community. I mean, right there where you live, and uh, you know, I'm finding that could be a, a great way to meet people who uh, who could be similarly minded. But it's a great way to go ahead and get that bartering started. Uh, I've already got a barter posted on my local group. Uh, and uh, we don't have but like seven members right now. But hey, you got to start somewhere. Uh, not bad for on the first day that I created the group. Seven people. Not bad at all. So I want to bring that to you as well. So if you're on Facebook, I get it. Not, not everybody is. It ain't everybody's bag of chips. And it ain't mine anymore either. Trust me. I'm not even under my real name on Facebook anymore, so I'm on Alabama Sun. But anyway, uh, if your community doesn't have a bar and exchange, I know a lot of them have yard sale pages or trade and yard sale. Uh, you might be able to work a barter on that, but I would start one specifically for barter and exchange. Uh, and list in your, you know, if you're going to start one, hey, list in there why. Tell them the truth. Uh, hey, we're, we're facing hard times and uh, currency is going to be nothing. Food and services, goods and services is going to be the only currency that we have. Anyhow, I thought I would bring you that as well uh, for, you, for you younger ones who stuck around or whoever. Uh, a, little, uh, a little hodgepodge of prepping topics today. Uh, y'all have a blessed day. This is uh, Farmer Son Prepping. We'll check y'all later.